if Turo cannot verify it through photo, I'm sorry, your claim will be denied. YouTube, it's your boy Kev B. I'm back, man. Remember, link in my bio to get cash back on your first full tank of gas. Remember, and also remember, man, if you're liking these videos, like, send me a comment to let me know what you want next, and also subscribe. Help me grow and build this channel up, man. Once again, enjoy the video. Peace. As a host, is number one. Like I mentioned on my previous video. Make sure that your car's tank is full of gas. Document it. Make sure that the interior of your car is clean and sanitized. Number three, make sure that you clean your car on the outside and add a little touch to it. I make sure I leave hand sanitizer and a fresh air freshener inside the uh, vent. That's what I do for customer service. I've heard of other people leaving some snacks, uh, and different things like that. Me, uh, I may start doing that because I live close to a Dollar Tree now. But I don't know. So I, I don't know if that really helps. I figured a, a, a smelling good car, some hand sanitizer, and you can figure the rest out. You know. But maybe I might add a bottle of water. The thing I didn't do that is because you know sometimes drinks get hot in the car, snacks it gets hot in the car. So. I mean, and a lot of times I'm dropping my vehicles off. I may not be dropping it off 30 or 40 minutes before they get. I might be dropping it off hours before they get there. You know, because a lot of times I prep my prep my cars because I know I'm not going to be there. I might be at work or whatever or what have you. That's why I didn't really go towards leaving snacks. But that's something that you could also do to prep your car. But the number one, this is what I was getting to. All of that stuff leads up to this because none of that matters. If you don't do this one part, make sure that you take multiple, be damn near belligerent or whatever they call it, be crazy about it, photos. You want to take a photo of every inch of your car if possible. Not if possible, as many photos as possible. Ciro will prompt you, and I think if you just do their normal check-in, you get about 15 or so photos. You know, usually what I do, I, I'm, I'm around the 40 to 50 photo range. Um, because if anything happens to your vehicle, you want to make sure that you are able to prove and show Ciro that prior to the trip and after the trip, this is the conditions of the car. This is how I left it. This is how it came back. And this is why I'm charging this charge. If Turo cannot verify it through photo, I'm sorry. Your claim will be denied. It always must be documented and verifiable. And because Turo is an app, it's a, it's a, a platform. It's not a physical location where you're taking your cars to to be rented. The only way that you can prove is through photos. 